um, good morning, I guess, and time for another Transformers review, yay, um, so today I have here Racerize Leader Class Optimus Prime, and oh my word, I love this guy, he's basically a love letter to, as many Transformers fans know, the MP10, probably the second greatest figure in Transformers history other than MP36. And this is probably the most complex figure I have, and I absolutely love it. So, there it is. Uh, the trailer. I really like this trailer. Uh, people have complained about the wheels looking kind of weird, but if you've never had an Optimus Prime trailer before, you like it. Because it's the only one you got, you don't have anything to compare it to. Uh, it opens up here. Move Prime aside for a second. There's, there it is. In all its glory. I'm gonna take this crane part off. The people will remember the crane from the cartoon that sometimes was a battle station, like on the original toy. But there he is. Let me just put him in the proper position there. But yeah, there he is. There's also like a bajillion weapons ports. So. I'm going to show you his blaster. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cartoon accurate. You can fold it up. Kind of cool. But there's eight weapons ports in here. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty much all visible on camera. There's eight weapons ports. It's crazy. But uh, a piece of it can come off as like a little shield thing that I don't really care about. I prefer for it to be how it's supposed to be as a trailer door and I cannot okay there we go I got it but I'm going to take this dude off and I'm gonna fold up this trailer right here and put it in the background because it looks really cool now the crane goes over there here comes Prime and oh my gosh this is an extremely cool Prime like a cool truck I absolutely love this guy so, first what you want to do is flip in those little gasket things. They may just go in on their own, and it doesn't look bad like this either, but the instructions say have the thing out like that, so eh, you can do what you want. It's your figure, but you unfold the legs here. Now, there is a little thing if you want to extend in the instructions. It says you unfold this up and have it completely blue, but I don't really care. It used to be the trailer part on the other stage one, but you fold out the feet like that and unclip it. Now this, I have, this one's an extremely loose heel, so that might just be an issue with mine, but. So there he is. So, let's start taking apart the cab. You undo little pegs there. You fold open three side panels on each side. So that's a lot. That's a lot of side panels, as Phil Swift would say. You pull out the arms here, fold that down, open up the hands, and boom, it has. Oh, let me try to get. Oh, let me try to show you how good it is. You can fold in the fingers like that, they can go all the way up. This is the first figure I have like this. But uh, the way you take them out. Is by folding that out, but I can just see a lot of people having a field day making like a little Prime's X you can stick on there with a little square. So let's completely transform him now. Pull out that, pull out the arms, flip down this piece, flip. Oh my gosh, flip his head through, flip his head through like that. Boom, there's Prime's head. It's starting to come together now. There, there we go, it's starting to come together. Flip all this whole thing up, fold in those panels once more. Flip this part down, click that part in. Now there's an issue here, as you might be able to see. Uh, this portion right here is square over here. It's triangle slanted, so this part, this side fits in perfectly. But this side has it kind of caught. And when the reviewer MGO3316 tried to 
push it, it caused stress. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait till the quarantine thing is over. I can't wait to see how future people react to this. But it's it's 2020, March 2020, and the vir the coronavirus is still going around. Oh, but Charlie, if you say that in a YouTube video, don't you get demonetized? Well, Jimmy, I'm not monetized in the first place, so it's not a concern to me. But... Yeah, it, it it's it's pretty good looking, just except for that little bump there. So then, what you do? You ah, I well unpeg that. That's supposed to be unpegged. You flip the waist around thing, the waist thing around, swivel it around, fold up the chest wheels, push out those little side parts, flip that part up, get his butt wheel things in. Stick his gun in his hand, fold it out, and boom, you have a figure that's too tall for my camera. Because I got a new, well, I fixed my old iPad, so I need like a little stand thing. Maybe this calculator. This calculator will hoist it up a bit. That might help. Because this is a tall figure, it's taller than. The other Siege Prime here. So if we scoot it back and do a head-to-head -head comparison, when you scoot the legs all the way in, there, this boy's quite larger, but this dude has better face detail. Of course, uh, he has a wobbly head because I knocked it off at one point in a video. This blaster is more cartoon accurate. I like this blaster better, but one feature this guy has that that one does not. So when you open up. His chest doors, that's a part of transformation. It's kind of hollow there for his head. But since it's different on that transformation, you get a little matrix of leadership. You can yeet out of his chest and boom. It's upside down. Boom. It looks kind of cool. There's a 3 millimeter port on the back. So if you want to stick like a blast effect in and have him lighting the auto watch darkest hour, here it is. It's pretty cool. So you can just take it. Stuff it back in, close the chest doors, and boom, there's the two Siege Primes so far, side by side. And I have to say, I I love these two figures. This one's going to be for, you know, posing and being at the centerpiece of my collection. Well, this guy I'm going to animate with, because he's really good. Now, <laughs> for other figure comparisons, Earthrise Cliff Jumper. He's the only other... Earthrise toy I have right now, besides the next figure I'm going to review tomorrow. The Cyberverse Optimus Prime. With his orange axe thing that's kind of broken on mine right here because I played with it too much. And then the first Optimus Prime I ever got. This tiny Energon Igniter's bum Bumblebee Optimus Prime. Which is extremely tiny. So, yeah, there, there he is. There, there is the Prime family, and they're all pretty good. So that's gonna have to do it for my Earthrise Prime review. Oh, oh no! Oh, but there he is, Earthrise Prime right there. Let me just fold the little crane arm thing, there we go, strap it on the back like a jetpack like in that one episode, and I'm blasting off to the next video, alright, see you guys.